Hello everyone, I'm Logan. I'm Pedro. And we're Zero Progress. And today we've been in Doncaster at the Video Game Market. Yeah, so the Doncaster Video Game Market is at the Doncaster Dome. It's a large market that sells everything from retro games right up to current gen. You can pick up old systems, everything from Game Gears, Dreamcast, with also modded systems. We've seen a few modded uh, Game Boy Advance there, uh, they were quite cool. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, I mean, as you can see, we've uh, bought ourselves a few games today. Um, so what we're going to do is in this video, we're going to sh uh, show footage of our of our day, of our day in Doncaster, and then end it with our pickups. So yeah, let's get into it. Hey guys, we've just arrived at uh, Doncaster Dome. Took us a... <laughs> it took us a while to get parked. Yeah, about 20 minutes of driving around constantly to get a parking space, but we're here. So, Peds, what are uh, three games that you're looking for? Let's, uh, let's I'd like to find Street Racer for the Super Nintendo. Um, Luna Tunes, Martin's Revenge for the Game Boy Color. Nice, some quite obscure games, yeah. Yeah, and uh, possibly... Uh, F Zero for the GameCube. I've seen that in a while. Cool. Uh, I'm looking more for PC games. Any of the Witcher series. Orange Box, you yeah, know the Half Life Orange Box, Half Life Two, and Portal and all that in it. And maybe some hidden gems for the PlayStation Three or the 3DS. So that's what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna give it a minute, and then we're gonna try and get in there because the queue, the queue is absolutely massive. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you in there. So Logan's in a mood because uh, I got him a pint of record leg and he got him a bottle of record leg. I'm, I'm livid. Actually, livid. Alright, so as you can see, yeah, it's a really busy day, wasn't it? So, yeah, it was really fun. Yeah, really enjoyed going around, having a good dig through a lot of different games. I wish I could have spent more money there, to be honest. Uh, yeah, it was, yeah it was our first time, really, and yeah, I, I really didn't actually know what to expect. Like, I saw like a couple of videos on it, like, but it, I think today was actually like really busy. Um, a few people said like a lot more people here, wasn't there? Yeah, we, yeah it was absolutely rammed. So uh, we we got to pick up a couple of the games. Was after we had a little bit of a list of some things that we was looking for. So we're going to sort of take it in turns and just show you what we picked up. So yeah, I'll start. Yeah, I'll off. start us off. So. Um, <laughs> Straight off the bat, um, I picked up some original Game Boy games and Game Boy Color games. Um, I got us Perfect Dark, Looney Tunes Collector, Mar uh, Martin's Alert. Martian Alert. Ma Martian Alert, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I picked these two up uh, for my girlfriend, who, like, really, you know, she used to play these when she was a lot younger, which was uh, Rugrats in Paris, the movie, uh, for Game Boy Color, and Sabrina Zat uh, for the Game Boy Color as well. I don't know. It's There's quite right. cheap as well, weren't there? A lot of the Game Boy games you could pick up for a quid, a couple of pounds. Oh, it was, yeah, it, it, was, cost, it, was yeah, very, it didn't cost me a lot. There was some stuff there that was 
a bit on the pricey side, but if you yeah. dug round and you knew what you was looking for, you could find some bargains. Oh, definitely, yeah. Yeah, well, what I thought was really cool about this um, Perfect Dark has got a little battery in there which added rump adds rumble feature onto the game. So cool. I thought, yeah, it's quite a cool little feature. Yeah, I've not really seen that one. I picked up uh, Wave yeah, Race yeah, for <laughs> the Game Boy. Um, Tetris, I, I don't actually, can't, I didn't own the original Tetris, so I thought I'd pick that up. And uh, I just, I've just never seen this before, Ronaldo v Football. So yeah, I like my football and I just thought like, it'd be a yeah. cool little uh -huh. gimmick to have. That's awesome. Cool, okay, uh, I've not got quite as many games uh, as you, so I'm probably just going to pick one up at a time. So we're going to go for a Vita game to start with. Uh, I've got Tearaway to the PlayStation Vita. I've heard good things about it, it's meant to use the touchpad on the Vita quite well. So yeah, got it at a really good price. Uh, I was quite surprised with what he was saying about it, really. I picked this up for £5. Uh, I think usually you're probably looking at between 10 and 20 quid for it. So yeah, yeah, really cool, in good condition. So yeah, Tearaway to the Vita. Never played it, but really looking forward to that. Yeah, it looks really good. I remember you saying as well about it's, it. It's one that I've been waiting. It was on my actual list, of, yeah, to find that as well. That was cool. There was quite a few Vita games there, but a few I already had, and the Vita's not got a massive library, to be fair, has it? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Me again? Yeah, go for it. So, uh, yeah, I finally uh, picked up a couple of Dreamcast games. I've owned a Dreamcast now for just over a year, and I've not actually picked up any games. I've got a couple of controllers, a couple of memory cards. Did you have any games for the Dreamcast? I've only got... Uh, Sonic Adventure, but I've only got the disc, was, which yeah. is currently in the Dreamcast. So. It is. It came in, in it when you bought it, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So I picked uh, picked up three Dreamcast games. I've got uh, Team Raider, The Last Revelation, uh, Ready to Rumble. I've heard this is um, probably like one of the best games. It was like a system seller back in the day. So yeah, picked that up, and then I got uh, Trick Style as well, which um, I, mean, I like. I like my Tony Hawk's games. I like. Yeah. BMX games and that, so yeah. I've only played a couple of Dreamcast games myself, so I was actually surprised by the amount of Dreamcast games that was there. And Sega Saturn, like nearly every store, yeah, had Sega like a mass amount of Sega Saturn games to the point where at one point I'd have considered not collecting for the Sega Saturn because you think there's no games, but you could really build your library up there. And again, the Dreamcast games, and a lot of them were, were reasonably priced, I'd have thought, yeah. you know, obviously, yeah, stuff like yeah. the original Shenmue, Shenmue 2, still going for about 20 quid. But yeah, that, I'll hop out yeah. it all really. Yeah. Okay, uh, so I'll probably get a couple out this time to keep up with you. So uh, one of my friends asked me to pick him up. Basically, he's recently got a PlayStation 4 and PlayStation VR. And he just says, if, if you see any cool PlayStation games that you think will be cool, you know, that, that, that he'd like, just pick them up and he'll, he'll pay for them when he comes down. So I saw Wipeout Omega Collection for like £8. So uh, hopefully we'll enjoy that. But I think that's awesome. And again, a good price for that. I really like the uh, VR mode. I mean, the, yeah, the, yeah, being able to play the whole thing in VR with the patch yeah. it is amazing. I think yeah. for anyone with PlayStation VR, it's a must-have. In flat screen, it's awesome, but VR is, is immense. If you can stomach it, because it's quite... There's a, few, there's a few comfort settings on it, but if you can stomach it, turn all them off, and, and, and yeah, wow. Uh, so what... Uh, pretty much after we just got in there, really, wasn't it? One of the first stores we walked into, loads of really good games in there, some really good prices. I picked up Final Fantasy Type-0 HD, so I, play, I played a little bit on the PSP, a cool Final Fantasy game actually, but this is the limited edition one which comes in a quite a cool little box, uh, yeah that, that was around a tenner basically, so yeah really really good condition and trying to build up my Final Fantasy collection sort of on the HD remakes on the Playstation 4, so that's absolutely awesome, really looking forward to having a go on that. Angle, I'm a bit jealous. Like, I wish I had that. <laughs> yeah, there was some, yeah, there, yeah, there was some, there was some cool pickups there, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, I'll go for these two next. So I picked up a couple of uh, Super Nintendo games. Um, the first one which I got, which was uh, Mario Paint. Um, you need the um, mouse for it, don't you? You do need the mouse pad, yeah. So it, it originally came with mouse. I remember having it when I was a kid, but I think it was about three pounds. So it was worth picking up the game. There might be someone out there with a broken game who's got the mouse. If we're lucky, maybe the mouse is the expensive part, but yeah, three quid, I thought. It was yeah, really yeah it's worth it. having. Um, and then one of the games which I've <laughs> been looking for uh, was Street Racer. Yeah, but Street Racer was actually on your, your list, wasn't it? It was one yeah. of the games you was... Uh, uh, we found that straight away, wasn't it? Was, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, this was the first game that <laughs> To, to be fair, before. Pedro, all the time we was walking around, I think you pretty much picked up everything you was looking yeah, for. I put you, you, would just, you you'd time. walk up and be like, oh, there's that one looking for, there's that one looking for. You did really well. To be fair, we both did really well. There was one thing I didn't get, which I was a bit good, but I'm yeah, sure I, 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 I didn't get an F-Zero game. 
Right, okay, yeah. What was it, uh, M64? Or no, I wanted it for the GameCube. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, the, I just, uh, the prices weren't really what I wanted it to be. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, there was a bit of a miss with the prices on some stores, I think. And there was also the fact that you could go to a store and pick up something for a price and then maybe find it around yeah, the corner for a bit cheaper. So there's always that, do you keep walking around? Do you chance the fact that it's a really good deal and, and you, you don't get it and someone else picks it up? So it's, but I'm, I'm quite happy with what we got. So next up I've got, uh, so I was looking for a few PC games. There's not really a lot of physical PC games out there. Big box, but mainly just stuff I'm interested in. I already do have a copy of this, but not this version. So this is Jade Empire Special Edition. And I basically got it more for the case because the case is absolutely stunning. It's in really, really good condition. I've never seen this before. Yeah. The, the manuals and everything that came with So if you pop it open, have a quick look inside. I mean, the it, you, it, so there's the art of Jade Empire, which I'd assume is part of the special edition. Oh, wait. It looks like we've got possibly posters uh, and stuff in it. It seems to come with everything. Full colour manual. Um, I was really impressed with that. I think that was really, about, really six, nice six, six, well. yeah, about six, seven quid for that. Uh, again, I have already got it. I think I picked it up for a couple of quid before, but not in the uh, same case as that. So I was just really, really impressed with that. I was a bit umming and ahhing a bit, but I, I am glad I've got it now. So, yeah, that's a, that's a cool looking game. Yeah, yeah, very, yeah, a really good pick up. So next for me, I've got uh, a couple of PlayStation 1 games. Uh, the first one I got, which is uh, Duke, nu Duke Nukem. Land of the Babes. <laughs> I haven't seen this game in a really long time. I'm trying to think if I played that back in the day. It, it's, it's the most familiar. cheesiest action you've ever seen. I mean, yeah, having the uh, live action shot of the woman on the case, it does seem quite familiar, that one, definitely. Uh, these are two games that I've just never seen before. Um, no Syn well. Syndicate Wars. Um, mm, is that a sp space... It's a, it's a, it's maybe really real short. real time strategy. Yeah, yeah. So that's, what, that's what it looks. That's what it looks like. Bullfrog, yeah, maybe. A and thing. That's quite cool. I can't really pronounce this one. But tongue, Tunguska. Tunguska. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, and this is it just looks like a bit like a role playing game. Um, it seems to have uh, set on the back. It's not really a immersive story. In. I just thought it looked something. It was something I, I, different. I, something I, interesting. I, I've never seen that. So Tunguska. Legend. Legend of faith. faith yeah. Cool. Well, it's sometimes good just to pick stuff up on the fact that you've not seen it before. So that, that's that's cool. I really, I haven't actually got a PlayStation one because I, I'd love to build up a PlayStation collection, even if it was just the games I had when I was a kid. You know, just uh, you know some of the original Tomb Raider games. Do you know I would actually love to get for the PlayStation some of the original demo discs because I played them probably more than some games because I couldn't afford them. I've, I've managed to collect a couple from like car boots. Oh really? Uh, really? Last year, De uh, if you get like demo disc one. Uh, there were some really cool games, just I don't know if it was demo did for add it on, but stuff like Overboard, Life Force Tanker, there were some really, really cool games on there. It'd just be really cool just to stick it in, listen to that PlayStation demo music, flick through the games and just have them like 10 minutes or whatever. Yeah, yeah I, I remember the music. It, it's, more, it's more just nostalgia, but yeah, PlayStation would be really cool to play. And hopefully, I mean, if the PlayStation 5 is back, was compatible. Yeah. I mean, the sales of original PlayStation, PlayStation 2 games, they're, they're just going to go flying. They yeah. really are. We don't know if that's possible yet, but we really hope that it is backwards compatible. So uh, another game I picked up was uh, a white label one. Some people probably might not like these, but I don't really mind myself. And it's uh, of Fallout and Fallout 2. Uh, I've never played it before. Apparently they're really good before. I think it's before Bethesda started working with them. Looks like it was done by Interplay. Yeah, it looked like it come with everything in it. Uh, manuals and patches, a couple of discs, one per game. Yeah, almost like top-down point-and-click games. I think they call them uh, isometric, so yeah, top-down from the sort of side yeah, view yeah. sort of thing. From what I've heard, they're really, really cool, like proper sort of quite old-school role-playing games. So, yeah, I mean, it's a, I'm not sure if it'll install on a, a newish system, but it really, it's just to have a physical copy. It's more about the preservation of games with some of these PC releases, because I could probably get them for quite cheap on Steam, so that might end up being easier to do than actually trying to install this but we'll see how we get on with it it's uh, something to have a little bit of a play about with, isn't it but yeah that, that's really cool and we, again that was yeah probably like a five or five six quid or something at the very most yeah yeah really good uh, so next for me i picked up a couple of accessories um i picked up the game boy uh, game boy player for the N nintendo 64 um i, I used to have one of these does that, does that play any Game Boy games. Is that so you can play Game Boy games on your N64? Uh, I would, 
you know, if I if I'm being honest, I think there is a cartridge where you could play any Game Boy games, but like all the only time I ever used this when I was uh, younger was to play Pokemon for Pokemon Stadium. And you could play like your Coliseum as well. Would that be the same? Pokemon yeah. Coliseum is that? Uh, oh, po- yeah, Pokemon Coliseum, uh, Nintendo GameCube. Okay, yeah, but um, yeah. They, uh, there was like other games I think like Kirby games and that there was like loads of other games that were compatible it'd be, yeah it'd be like, interesting to see what, what you could actually do with this be, yeah but yeah as far as ah uh, uh, it's a transfer pack so I'd imagine maybe you transfer your save onto it and yeah then yeah, yeah so, so you could like, use like your Pokemon in like uh, Pokemon, yeah. Pokemon I remember Stadium. playing Stadium before yeah. with uh, certain Pokemon that, that's really cool yeah I, I, I used to have one when I was a kid but obviously every time I lost it and yeah it's nice, nice to have another one uh, this one I'm really happy to get is a Game Boy camera. So uh, that was on the list, wasn't it? Yeah, that was one of the ones on the list. Um, what was it about four or five months ago? I, I managed to pick up off Facebook. Um, uh, Game Boy, Boy print, print, a Game Boy printer in box, like still works. And I, like, I always, I've always wanted a Game Boy camera. When I was, even when I was like really young, I wanted a Game Boy camera. I just never had one. And yeah, like finding this in box to go with my box printer. Really happy with that. Yeah. And, um, Again, want want the bad price either. The box is in really good condition. Yeah. It's got. It's yeah. got. It's I was quite surprised that there were a couple of them next. I think there was a red one there because that one's the yellow. Yeah, one, you get diff- yeah different colours. So yeah, like, eventually, like the plan is, so uh, I want to get like loads of different colour Game Boys, Game Boy colours, and uh, get the different colour cameras just because. You collect them and you. Get <laughs> I, I like collecting. <laughs> Why not? Okay. Also, one of the ones of my list uh, was folklore. Uh, still not took the label off it there, but yeah. So uh, I'm quite into my PlayStation 3 games. Basically, I didn't have a PlayStation 3 when it was released. So I went PC and went into stuff like Crisis and Oblivion and uh, became a bit of a PC gamer. So I went off console gaming for a bit. So the PlayStation 3, I only got a couple of years ago. And that was basically so I could play HD Collection. It was Metal Gear Solid Metal 4 Gear Solid, and yeah. then the Metal Gear Solid HD Collection. So I'm going through some games on there that were exclusive to that system that I never got to play anywhere else. Obviously starting with Metal Gear Solid. So Folklore, all I've heard is good things about it. It's a bit pricey at times. I picked this one up for £18. I think it's usually going for about 20 to 25 It depends where you pick it up from. You don't see it very often, so I was quite happy to see it in really good condition with the manual. So, I've, yeah, apparently it's just an ace game and it's exclusive to the PlayStation 3. So one of my things that I try and collect for is the PlayStation 3, getting them exclusives and, yeah... Really you're like, you're like almost on a quest to like get all like the RPGs, aren't you? Sort of, yeah. I've, I mean, I've sort of took it upon myself now to start going more deeper into the RPGs because while, we, while I was at the gaming uh, market, the amount of tales of games like Tales of Azaria and Tales of Vespia, or what, I'm not quite sure on the titles, Tales of Elysia or maybe it was something else. But it, it was there was a load of those games. Apparently they're really cool as well. A few uh, Yeez games as well. I'd really like to start collecting all of them. So there's a load on the PlayStation 3 and a couple on the PlayStation 4. Maybe get the HD remakes on the 4 where possible because it's just nice to play up scale yeah. 4K. Yeah, yeah. Mighty Dar, all that. So, yeah, folklore, really into that. And I'm going to keep collecting the RPGs for the PlayStation 3. Really cool. Yeah, cool. All right, next up for me. I got me some GameCube games. Right, so the first two are actually <laughs> recommended. I got these from recommendations of... Um, a uh, really good friend of mine, Callum, and um, yeah, the first one was <laughs> Universal Studios. Now, oh, I ain't gonna lie, looks, like a, bu- <laughs> looks like a budget title. Um, he, he was telling me that like, apparently you gotta like go around and collect rubbish and then you get to go on the rides <laughs> and all that. Wow. But, yeah. I, I've never seen, I mean, I've no, I, I never had a GameCube, so I'm not too sure a lot of the games I know, but I've definitely never seen that before. That's, <laughs> that's cool. Me and Callum have been playing a lot of GameCube uh, recently, and like just reliving like the past. And yeah, so the more games I get, the more <laughs> the more we get uh, nostalgia from it. Um, so I never actually played this one originally. This is Super uh, well, Mario Golf Toadstool Tour, and uh, I never played this one before. But Callum was saying that this is apparently <laughs> the game to play. So yeah, hopefully, um, I mean, I'm gonna actually wait and play it with him. So. Callum, oh. if it's rubbish, it's on your head. <laughs> uh, the other, and the other three ones I got, I got uh, Billy Hatch and the Giant he- Egg. Uh, ah, to be honest, I think that's meant to be a bit of a hidden gem from what we've we've seen before. Yeah, it's actually meant to be quite cool. I've seen that uh, been sort of semi reviewed and yeah, that comes. Yeah, really yeah, yeah, I've that. not really seen that. That's that's quite it's, cool. That is. And it's the same with this one, Lost Kingdoms as well. Definitely never heard of that one. Yeah, uh, it's a, the only time I heard it. It's like it's Nintendo's take on like bit, bit, uh, making an uh, JRPG. 
Yeah, I've not heard of that. About, apparently, it's a good story, but the game just never really like hit off. So yeah, and I've, I've never seen it. And then this is one that you've taught for me, which was uh, SSX on tour. Yeah, and you had that on on uh, one of you. Oh, I, 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 I wanted it for the PSP. Soon. When you saw it for this one, it's got. Um, oh, was it actually for the PSP that you wanted? Yeah, that's what I, I wanted oh, for the PSP. Right, okay. but I, 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 I didn't realise. I didn't yeah. know it was for the GameCube, and it's got. Uh, I mean, this is featuring like Mario, Luigi, and Peach, uh, probably other Nintendo characters on there. So yeah, I'm that's really cool. looking forward to playing. playing this one. Right then, uh, I'll go through a couple of mine to keep up with you. I think how many got? Uh, yeah, got a few couple left. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll do uh, this one. So I've, I was looking for a, th a few 3DS games, just ones that I haven't got, or if I see anything that, that takes my eye. I was quite interested in Mario and Luigi, Bowser's Inside Story. You've got it to the DS, but I did know they did one for the 3DS. So I spotted this, and I get, how much did I pick this up for, Pets? Was it about, it was about six, yeah, seven, yeah, quid, yeah, yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. The, the, the most, probably maybe around six pounds. Uh, now I've seen this on one of the other stores, sealed, in one of their little cabinets that they had the more expensive games on, and I'm sure it was around 40 pounds. Don't quote me on that, but I'm sure it was around £40. And it wasn't until I got back that I realised that it is actually sealed. It's got the Nintendo um, seal on it, if you like. So I don't, I don't know if I want to open it, but I do actually want to play it, so I probably will. But yeah, I got it for really cheap. Every, everywhere else it was sort of about 12 quid. I think in uh, our second-hand store we have it, which is uh, CEX, I think you're looking at... It's about 20, 20 I think it's about, yeah, about 20 quid. So, um, wicked deal, and the fact that it was sealed as well was just an absolute bonus. But yeah, I just spotted that and thought, yeah, really cool. Apparently, uh, the Mario and Luigi series is a bit of an RPG as far as yeah, I can yeah, tell. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is, yeah. It's yeah. a bit more of a story-based as opposed to the platform-based. But again, I've never really played any of them. I'd re I really want to get into the uh, the Paper Mario series as well, but the Paper Mario Thousand Year Old Door on, on the GameCube is, is insane price. Yeah. So yes, yeah, so these are the sort of closest that I can get to it. But yeah, I, I was absolutely... Awesome, yeah, what, what an amazing pickup that was. Can't wait to have a go on that. Yeah, good. Uh, yeah, what I think you do, go a couple more, yeah? Yeah, uh, I'll do these two, two together. Um, so, I, I just found this one randomly, which is Mega Games 1 for the Mega Drive. Sega Mega Drive. Um, you've, you've got a Mega Drive, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. got a Mega Drive, and uh, this is like... Uh, I, only, I only ever had a couple of games for it when I was younger. I uh, think I had the Mega Games 1 and 2, so I remember yeah, Columns. So yeah, I Columns. Remember, I remember Super Columns. Hang On and the uh, uh, World Cup as well. Italian uh, 90. Italian 90. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, <laughs> all my family being Italian, they, 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 they love this game, so... Yeah, that's kind of like a blast from the past. Yeah. Well, maybe try collecting the rest of the Mega Games, so that might be like a cool little sort of collection yeah, yeah. to get on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's I'd, really I'd, I'd like to get them all. Um, for the Wii, picked up the original uh, Resident Evil 1. Of, of which I've never seen before. I yeah. think it was remade for the GameCube. For the GameCube. Yeah. I can only assume that it is that one, maybe a bit of a better upscale it? version. It oh. does say uh, Resident Evil Archives on it, so I'm not yeah, too sure. Is, you know, yeah, maybe yeah. it's got extra stuff. Yeah, that's quite a cool pickup. Uh, Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition, apparently it's <laughs> a really good version of it. Like, yeah, but it's... it's from, from what I can tell, yeah, it's the yeah. Wii Remote. Uh, the case as well just looks really cool on it. And I am quite jealous of this. Like, I, yeah, I, I, I spotted this here, and, well, and yeah. this is in mint condition, and this is really cool, this is. Yeah, so the conduit. Yep, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> conduit. So, struggle saying it. <laughs> um, I, d I don't actually, I've never seen this game before, but um, you've said you've seen it in like I'm sure I've seen it in, in various uh, YouTube sort of top 10 Wii games, or possibly even Wii Hidden Gems, or something along the lines of, this is meant to be quite a cool, uh, again, I think a bit like a light gun shooter using the Wii controls, but the mint condition it's in, the, the really, really cool case, it was about a tenner. I, I think that's a really, really cool pickup that is. Yeah, yeah, the graphics yeah, are really, really cool. good as well. Uh, yeah, yeah I can't, wait. can't wait to have a go. I wish that. I was expecting for Wii now, because you've got some cool Wii games there, yeah. to be fair, you really are. So, uh, I'll, I'll put these two together, because there are two more PlayStation 3. So, after recently completing the play, uh, PlayStation 4 God of War in the last few months, I thought, I think I've got God of War Ascension already for the PlayStation 3, yeah. so I thought I might go through and just collect them all. Whether I play for them all or not, I'm not too sure, but it would just be nice to have all the God of War collection. So this one, as far as I can tell, I think the guy did say to me that it's actually, uh, I think this is the American version, because we didn't get in Europe, or at least in the UK, I don't think we got the red boxes for the greatest hits. Yeah, I don't. No, I don't uh, think we did. Some, some of our games, the, uh, some of the uh, PlayStation Three games I've got have, are in red box, but I'm not too sure on that. Right. Okay. Yeah. Fair, fair enough. So that's just what he said. But apparently it's region three, the PlayStation Three. I 
I'm not too sure, and I, I hope it is. Uh, so anyway, it was the God of War collection, so God of War 1 and 2. I did. I, the reason I got this is because I saw God of War 3, and then I forgot to go back and pick up God of War 3, so then I would have had 1, 2, 3, and Ascension. I don't know if that's all of them, besides the new one, so I'm not too sure on that. But yeah, that, that was a fairly decent price, uh, around a tenner, I think. Uh, and then I picked up Resonance of Fate, which again is another... Uh, PlayStation 3 exclusive as far as I can tell. I think there might be a HD remake on the PlayStation 4 but from what I could tell it was only a digital only unless it was possibly from PlayAsia or something. It was a Japanese release. Don't know if I had uh, English voice acting in. And to be fair, maybe picking it now from PlayAsia might be a bit difficult and a bit pricey. But yeah, that, that was around £10 as well. But again, this is meant to be a cool game. Oh, oh, it was. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like it's been played very much ever just in good condition and again with the full colour manual but yeah really good condition that so that's really cool yeah, yeah that looks really good uh, next up for me so i've been uh, off the list again yeah i've been after this for quite a while so final fantasy dirge of cerberus <laughs> dirge of cerberus <laughs> well final fantasy 7 um yeah it's a uh, it's a sequel to final fantasy 7 yes. um, i've been after this for i think it is or is it Pretty good. Oh, no, yeah, it's, it's, set, it's set just afterwards. Right, cool. I have, I have played it a little bit before, but it was it was at a friend's house years ago, and it was for like five minutes. Yeah, that's so. it. I, I remember uh, renting this out when uh, we had the choices. When that oh, was, nice. When that was the thing. <laughs> I remember renting it out and playing. Mm. playing it. I, I think they just did the beginning bit, but I was really struggling with it. But yeah, to be able to, yeah, I'm definitely, this is going to be a game I'm going to play through again. And I've also picked up Valkyrie, Valkyrie Profile 2. <laughs> yeah, I think I've heard of the... Possibly the original one. I've definitely heard of the, uh, Valkyrie Profile. So yeah, but I don't think I've ever seen the second one. So that could be a cool um, I say the, PS2 the, RPG. Again, yeah. I wish I had a PlayStation 2 because PlayStation 1 and 2, obviously as well as the 3 and 4, funnily enough, are all consoles I'd love to collect for. So if the 5 has backwards compatible, I can get... I, oh, I can't. Yeah. I really hope it does because I want to jump back on all these old PlayStation 2 games. I really do. Yeah, I'll start helping you out all that. Well, it also hurts. Square Enix as well. Oh, it is, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. That's cool. And that, from... I mean, I don't know if it's a good game or not, but from what I can tell, you know, that's sort of in the heyday. If it's around the Final Fantasy X era, I mean, that, that was a cracking game as far as I'm concerned. I've really enjoyed Final Fantasy X. So if it's, if it's anything like the quality, at least, of that... Yeah, that'll be cool. Okay, so I've only got a couple more left now. Have you got anything left, Pads? Yeah, I've got, yeah, I've got one more. Cool, okay. So one on my list <clears throat> was uh, Grand Theft Auto V, the physical edition. So it was for PC, because I, I own uh, Grand Theft Auto 1, London. Grand, I haven't got Grand Theft Auto 2, so that's one that I'm missing. I didn't actually see that there. I actually forgot about it, so it could have been there. But I've got Grand Theft Auto 3, uh, Vice City and San Andreas all on PC. I haven't got 4, 2 or 5, but now I've got 5. So it's the, the full version with all the discs, which is probably one of the last releases I'll probably do on discs, because I think it's like 7 discs, which is ridiculous. Obviously Blu-ray is much more economical with one disc being around 50 gig. These are all PC uh, DVD ROM, so yeah, 7 discs is a bit ridiculous. Yeah, I owned it on PC originally, it's nice to be able to sweep the graphics and get, get them running up there a bit better at 60 frames and whatnot. So yeah, really good condition. Uh, I haggled him down for about 18 quid, about 15 quid for that. Uh, a few pl place, uh, places, the last I looked on eBay, were teetering around 20 to 30 pounds for that. So yeah, just really cool to have that physical edition of that. So that's cool. Yeah. Oh, right, next up for me is uh, some Xbox games. Um, I mean, I've got my, my Xbox collection is, is pretty <laughs> getting pretty large now. So um, Ori original Xbox as well. Yeah, yeah, original uh, original Xbox. The original yeah, Xbox was Xbox awesome. 360. Um, yeah, so like now the games I'm getting them all like getting carefully picked out now. Uh, I mean, this one I've never seen before: Broken Sword, uh, Sleeping Dragon. Again, Sleeping Dragon. I think there might be four or five. Broken yeah, Sword. yeah, they did bring out a few. I might actually get a Broken Sword game for the DS or something like that as well. Right, really so cool. I've never really noticed them before, but now, yeah, now I started yeah, seeing them. Cool. Um, Half Life Two. Obviously, me and you played that on the computer. Yeah. And I've, again, I've never seen I've never seen it for the Xbox, so. Yeah. Oh, exactly. I did see Half Life One on the Xbox when we first walked around, but did, oh. for the life of me, I wouldn't be able to remember. There was a load of crates on the floor, all full of games. You know, we sort of Xbox, PlayStation Two, and various other things. I just remember seeing Half Life One, but 
I didn't think much of it, you know, half life onto the Xbox, but I actually got two. We could have got one, I bet it was only a couple of quid. It was probably one of them crates where it was like, you know, three pounds for, for two games or something yeah. like that. Yeah, uh, this one, I just I remember my brother having this when, when I was younger, and uh, this is a Leisure Suit Larry uh, for the Xbox. Um, I think no, it's, if I remember correctly, you play as uh, Larry, you're in college and you die at the end of the game, it's just trying to sleep with women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think they are a bit yeah. uh, a bit like that, a bit tongue in cheek. I've, I've never played yeah. any of them myself, I think they started on PC. I did see a few big box versions of the Leisure Suit Larry. But again, I've not. I don't really hold any attachment to them because I've never played them really. So yeah, no, that, yeah. That, that, that I've never seen it for Xbox though. So again, quite yeah. cool. Yeah, I think yeah. the, X, the original Xbox and obviously the 360 as well that had a pretty awesome library. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, the original Xbox when it first came out was just so powerful, wasn't it? So they, like, oh, a lot, oh, a lot of these games that were on PC yeah. were actually. I, I, on I had the, the PlayStation Two and the Xbox around the same time, and I really enjoyed both those yeah. systems. They were, they were really cool. So going back to Half-Life 2, that's one of the ones off my main list that I didn't get, which was the uh, Half-Life 2 orange box, which was Half-Life 2. I think it may have come with Episode 1 and Episode 2 as well. I think it was Team Fortress and Portal. Can't, sort of going for the big box-ish version, because I have got Half-Life 1 in big box. I asked a few of the people there doing the big box PC stuff, and there, there was there was nothing. I tell you what I did see, though, and I forgot to tell you, this is when we sort of separated at one point. I seen, uh, I think it was... Final Fantasy Eight or Seven big box. It wasn't the oh, it, it wasn't the pyramid box, but it was it was it was about thirty quid they are. So yeah, a bit pricey. I, I bought Final Fantasy Seven and Eight quite a few times, and we recently got it on Switch, didn't we? When they did the Play Asia version. Yeah. So I, I don't really want to buy it too many more times, <laughs> but we'll see. So uh, a couple of my last things. There's one daft one, which is on the store selling merchandise. Uh, I quite like the PlayStation merchandise because I'm a bit of a PlayStation fan. So it was just a real, real daft one, but I just thought it was really, really cool. Basically, it comes in a little PlayStation 1 too, but it's just basically a set of PlayStation uh, playing cards. I just like the design of them. The fact that you've got the, each suit is, is a uh, symbol off the controller. I just thought it was a really little clever idea, really. Um, and they weren't very expensive as well, maybe like a five or something, but I just thought it was just like quite a cool little thing to have. Yeah, yeah nice at night. And the tin itself is just really cool. No, little, little PlayStation 1 too. Yeah, really nice quality as well. Right? Yeah, no, yeah, definitely good quality. Most of the PlayStation merchandise I picked up was quite good quality. And yeah, I just thought it was a pretty cool thing. And I've got a couple more down here. So, uh, another thing that I was looking into collecting for, I, I seem to end up with uh, a few randomly, and that was strategy guides. Uh, yeah, I think I gave you a couple. You, you gave me a couple. I've got like the Grand Theft Auto 5 hardback one. I, I brought the Skyrim one years ago, which is like a Bible. It's, it's massive. And... Uh, I've got a few sort of dotted about, so I thought, you know, I quite like them. They've just got really cool artwork, and they look like they put quite a lot of effort into them. Yeah, yeah, so it's quite a cool thing to have for a game. I don't really use them for the strategy line. Let's let's face it, nowadays, if you get stuck in a game, what do you yeah, do? It's <laughs> if you just Google them, just, you just look on yeah. there, whack into a search engine, and, and you know what you're doing next. So I just picked these up. Some of them are quite expensive, but these were five pound each. Which I didn't think were too bad. So there's a Final Fantasy three. Uh, it says for the DS, but I wouldn't be surprised if it probably work for most of the Final Fantasy yeah. 3 games but again in really good condition it's, it smells almost brand new inside and the pages look nice but yeah that, that's a really cool cool yeah, so that's, that's the problem with buying second hand um, books so really like if they've been in a house where someone's a smoker yeah, yeah, really yeah. But, I mean apart from the cover looking a bit like but I'm not too bothered about it being in mint condition it, it's more for me just to yeah. have like just a cool yeah, moment exactly. of that particular game so one of the things I'm going to try collecting for is get games that I'm, I'm into so I think I've already got a Mass Effect one, so maybe it's Mass Effect 2 I've got it for. Quite nice to get maybe Mass Effect 1 and 3, and just complete little collections. Yeah. Uh, so Final Fantasy I'm going for now, which is a bit daft. Back in the day I had Final Fantasy 10 and Final Fantasy 12, the hardback version. I saw the hardback version earlier, but they were going for like 15 quid. Yeah, it may be a bit much for a, for a strategy guide. So the, the, the one I picked up was Final Fantasy 13, and again it's almost in mint condition really. And I thought it'd be quite a cool one to pick up as well because we're actually going through this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sort of recently, we've been playing through it, so we we could use that. I, I did see the Final Fantasy Type Zero uh, HD hardback strategy guide as well, but again, he wanted like fifteen pound for it. If I'd have probably got all the strategy guides I want, <laughs> I'd have been paying like fi probably fifty on quiz or something. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. But maybe next year, or, or maybe the, we we quite often pick these up at the car boots for a couple of quid so maybe wait for that but yeah that, that's that's basically it that's I've all I've actually got one more special item 
Oh, you are. Well, that, <laughs> now this was actually given to me by a trader. And you seem I, to be giving them out towards the end of the yeah. day, which is quite cool. Yeah, I mean, I, I just walked past and I just looked at it because I've oh, not seen that before. And he says, Do you want it? <laughs> so I was like, Yeah, I can give a few to this. It's uh, quite cool, actually. It's really random, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I, I quite like Mike Tyson, so yeah, to have a, a big PlayStation 2 game. <laughs> yeah, and it does look cool because obviously you can see the side of the box there and it, it does kind of look. Like yeah. A PlayStation 2 game. Yeah, that's really cool. I mean, now I've just got to actually get the actual game. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what put it inside it? But I thought, yeah, they're making a nice, nice addition for the game yeah, room. That's really cool. So, yeah. Yeah, so I had an awesome day. I was very. Um, I quite I didn't know what to expect. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, I had no we're, idea. We're, what to expect. When we first got there, we were just like round and round, like, wow, wow. Yeah, that. we, we didn't yeah. know if it'd be, you know, how good it'd be, whether it was worth a couple of hour drive to get there. Definitely was, and yeah, I, yeah, I, so, I definitely. I said for any, anyone travelling anywhere in England, like, um, yeah, it's definitely worth a travel. For yeah, it, it's, if, it's, if you're looking for this sort of stuff, so real random stuff, maybe you've got a bit of a list of some games that you know you, you might not see so often. You know, so often, we, we, I managed to pick up most of them. Apart from that, that Half Life one was about the only one that I really didn't pick up. There was a lot of good stuff there, and yeah. I, I wish uh, you know. I, had a bit more money to spend there. Yeah, maybe yeah. I think I'll budget a bit more. You know, you, yeah, you, you yeah. tend to think, oh, this will be enough. But it, there was so much cool stuff there. Uh, so yeah, a couple of things off my list, a couple of things off your yeah. list. Yeah, very, very happy. Like I said, like like a bit like a bit like the holiday season for us, isn't it? Yeah, it, it's, it, yeah, it's been absolutely awesome. And I think uh, ne next year, what would, you, what would you like to think next year? I've, I've already got a couple of ideas of things that I want next year. I know it's jumping the gun a bit, but. Yeah. For, for me, straight up is the, so they had some of the modded uh, Game Boy Advance there, yeah. some of the Game Boy SPs and the Game Boy Advance, so basically they've been modding the IPS screens into it, so you've got a backlit screen, and they had them on there, and, and you know, they, they were you know, hovering between 50 and 100 pounds, depending what colour and you know what model and what version and stuff, but they really popped, the screens look awesome, and to see them there on display, and it's like, wow. I, I haven't got uh, any Game Boy that can play Advanced or Game Boy, and because the Game Boy Advance can play both, that's a system I'd love to get with a backlit, backlit screen. So next year, I did see some Game Gears there as well. I remember having a Game Gear when I was a kid. Yeah, having, yeah. yeah I'd, like, I'd like to get, get a Game Gear. Uh, definitely start looking into Saturn. No, I think no, they were no. about 50, 60 quid. So they, yeah, they were all, you know, a bit. But there was a lot of Game Gear games there as well, so. That was the other thing. I, I didn't want to like buy a system that I won't be able to collect for, but there was quite a few games there, so yeah. I could I could get that and pick up a few games. Game Gear was a bit ahead of its time. I mean, while the Game Boy was still not backlit, the Game Gear was like yeah, a, a proper I, mini like, CRT yeah, monitor. Yeah, you, could have, you could have a TV on there, couldn't you? On the game yes, game, there was yeah. the TV tune for it. Obviously, it probably wouldn't work now because terrestrial yeah. has been switched off in our country, but nevertheless, it was, it was a cool idea. Yeah. So, Possibly a couple of handheld systems and then a few games to go with them next year. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah, just keep adding more to the collection. I mean, obviously I'm looking forward to the rest of this year now. <laughs> well, uh, we're coming in back into the summer season, car boots are going to... Yes, hopefully up, we so. may have some footage of that. Uh, there can be a bit of hit, hit and miss with the car boots because they're not just for games and stuff. You have a couple of game stores on there. So we may do a couple of videos and know if we feel like it's, it's worth actually doing. Yeah, and... <laughs> Hopefully, uh, we'll do another pickups uh, yeah, yeah. Each, each month of what we've been getting. Cool, yeah. yeah. So, right, well, thank you very much for watching, guys. I'm Pedro. I'm Logan. And uh, yeah, we're Zero Progress. We'll see you later. See you later.